Uh, welcome back guys again uh, as you see I've been busy doing sand castle stuff uh, this is just to go through a little bit on what you want to look out for when you're trying to find a spot to fish before it gets too dark and I can't show you I've done a little I'll put diagrams up of actual beach but I wanted to show you on location anywhere anyway what you want to look for now this is just a replication of of, a, of a, an ideal scenario uh, very unlikely you'll, you'll come across a perfect scenario that represents you know a map like this but what, what we're looking for essentially when I for a gutter uh, we look at our beach and we see here where all the waves are crashing uh, what we want to find for the from the example those waves that are crashing those are these waves here on the map right in this bit in the middle is what we'd call a gutter and then on the other side is where you'd see where this mound of uh, more sand is is where you'd see more waves breaking so this is at low tide it's a great time for you guys to assess the beach and go okay i can see where the waves are breaking and at high tide there's going to be a huge dip in the right off here and there'll be a huge dip right off there where it's going to be really deep so at high tide the waves break when they hit uh oh sorry waves break when they hit a sandbar and then uh, a gutter is when uh, the waves come in they break over this sandbar and then there's a gully that's why they don't uh, gutter that's deeper water so that's where a lot of the fish will sit so a lot of the predatory fish come in here looking for your bait fish that sit in this gully between one of the breakers that break on your first sandbar and then your next breaker and then when you hit your beach so this is our beach where we're standing you know we're standing right here we're trying to fish from right out here so when we're casting we're trying to cast and hit into our gully now gutter in here between the two breakers that's what your ideal scenario will look 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 like and then you want to find where the entrances and exits are okay so we're on location how I'm standing on this nice flat piece and then there's a drop to my right I mean it's not a perfect example but that drop and this flat piece the drop this flat piece here might represent where the um wait this focus the entry and exit points might be all right so that's where you your predatory fish come in looking for your bait fish that sit in this in this ideal scenario of this uh gutter here and i've dug a nice little hole now hole is would be looking uh, and your and your gullies for that uh, the gutters for that matter will look very um, soft and flat in comparison. So as you can see, further out past these breakers, it's nice and flat. So in an ideal scenario, what we should be looking at is we should be looking at say some breakers off to the very end of that stick line, and then again breakers in here, and then we try and cast just beyond that and sit it in in there, hoping we. Uh, are sitting with where the bait fish might be and that's where your predatory fish are going to come in and so they're going to come in through your entries and exits so you're casting into this gutter through the entrance and exits where they might be coming in looking for them and your holes will be defined by a flatter piece that's really smooth and really calm but deeper so there's going to be a lot more bait fish running around in that in that hole uh, so Great place to cast into, great place to fish if you can find them when you're looking up and down your beach looking for a spot to, to fish off. But as I said, there's no, you might not find the perfect example like this where you go, ah, oh, it's clearly seen. Um, as you can see, right along this beach, as far as we can see at the moment, there isn't a perfect example of what we're looking at, but that's because we're sitting here um, where it's a lower tide, the tide's coming in but you can't quite see it, but there's a quite steep slope down towards this bit. So this is gonna end up filling up at high tide and being a nice nice gutter for us to cast into and, and it'll break further out, out the back there 
the fish will come in here to feed. And so that's that's what a gutter should is. So the gutter should look like, ideally. So you're looking for two breakers, flat piece in between, cast into the flat piece between the two breakers, and um, and your holes. It will be a very flattish, calmer part of the water and it'll look a little bit different coloured wise in comparison to the rest rest of our, our, um, our gutter along there and you're definitely going to find a lot of bait fish in there so therefore a lot more predatory fish are going to come in here looking for something to feed off uh, but that's a simple explanation I will put a photograph of beaches where you can actually see it in detail uh, for more but because I don't have a perfect one in front of me it's good to be able to have a look and good to see a beach and go, ah, all right, whether, whether my spot is a good spot or not, you know. Uh, so hopefully that's some, some help. And uh, I'm going to stop talking so we can uh, get the rods out and I'll go from there. Cheers, guys.